Okay, we'll move on to unfinished business and update on the Stack Elementary School Roof Project. I'm sorry. Uh, after that, no, after oh. I'm just smiling after that presentation. <laughs> uh, talking about a roof project isn't going to be all that much fun. But, um, progress benchmarks was here. Uh, um, benchmarks was here yesterday and today. Uh, the engineer and has been up on the roof. We met with him this morning. Uh, Brent was in the neighborhood, so I said, Brent, why don't you sit down and listen to this? Um, he works in that world more than I do. But the gist of the conversation um, is that uh, he made some suggestions and, and, and whatnot. He said the roof was really as is, is designed uh, for this type of roof. And uh, we asked him some specific questions about different types and, and whatnot. That will all be bid in, or into the, the specs. Uh, and whatnot, but his recommendation that isn't formal yet, but it's going to be, uh, is that uh, uh, to look at replacing the existing roof with comparable but newer material. Um, and uh, he was pretty strong on that recommendation. Uh, the rest of the process, then I'll shut up and can talk. Um, the rest of the process what will be is that we'll get this in, uh, in writing. Um, and you kind of want to take your temperature to the, for the SAC board on um, we don't want him to invest a ton of time into starting to develop the specs to replace the existing roof until we're pretty sure that's what we want to do. Um, but we told him to go ahead and get started with the specs. That, uh, that will take uh, um, somewhere up to over the next month that will be done. We'll get the specs back. You'll get, we'll probably end up having a special board meeting at that point uh, unless it happens to hit the, whatever we do in March. But we're going to have to meet on this. Um, look at the specs and approve what, what uh, for, uh, moving forward with this. Then we'll follow the legal guidelines uh, in, in bidding this project. Uh, and uh, asking, well, I don't know, a number of times, uh, just work backwards here. It's uh, the middle of August and we want to start school. Is the roof going to be done? And um, he assured us that we're way ahead of the curve. We're in good shape for doing that. Uh, he estimated with the right crew and, and those types of things that the whole project could be done in, in four or five weeks. Um, we, I, I'd say I left the meeting going, this is good. Uh, we can get this thing moving and we can get this roof replaced, which it desperately needs. Brent, uh, anything you'd like to clarify? Well, I'm to add would be, he looked at the, the fact that there is three inches of insulation up there. He named what type it was. I, I don't know what it was. Um, he was going to look at specs on that and see um, if he would recommend adding more to that and then what that cost would be. Then the other thing was uh, he would use the, basically the, the exact same style roof and everything. The, the rubber mat itself, though, he would recommend to be the same product but uh, a little bit thicker. Um, so that's all going to be in his recommendation, too. So it's basically the same roof that we have later. Just going back home. I wonder if we could uh, throw that at Mid American Energy as well, since you're talking insulation and stuff as part of the We need to see what they'll pay for for all of these improvements. And the, and the insulation part, I think if I remember correctly, uh, um, we're currently probably at like an R17 or an R18. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, and, the, and some international standards that they use as a benchmark uh, is at like R21. Uh, and so what he's going to do is prepare what's the cost to get us to R21, and then you can compare what that cost is to what the projected savings would be. It may or may not be something that, that we want to do, but we'll have data, we'll have information, real information to deal with. So that project is unfolding. I guess I would like, uh, um, I used the term earlier, taking temperature, uh, figuratively of course, uh, on uh, um, uh, telling him to go full bore with the, the specs to replace this roof. All, yes. the, all the people that I've talked to have said the same thing, is that we need to replace it with something like has been there. And I think it served us well for 27 years. So, mm -hmm. um, Another thing I might throw out here while you're thinking about building improvements, and I told Kevin this the other day, I'll be attending a meeting tomorrow in Storm Lake Apparently, our northern natural pipeline is running short of northern of natural gas, and um, I don't know how it's going to affect our utilities, our costs, and any yeah, any new developments or improvements in the region. I'm talking. They were talking all of Northwest Iowa, north of I-80, 
west of I-35, but yesterday I talked to a developer from Southwest Island, they don't have any there either. So anything we can do to make our buildings more energy efficient, we need to be doing it now. So. And, and we will. So I guess I'd kind of like, it's not an action item, but just consensus on the side board that, yep, yeah, we're on the right track here, we're going to get this thing done. Right. We feel. Yeah, absolutely, and that was the thing when we said let's do this, because we don't want to do it again in five or ten or twelve mm -hmm. years. This needs to go for a long time. And we did also, just to, to be open and honest, uh, we asked about the slope roof, uh, steel roof, and, and uh, uh, what are the possibilities of doing that and pros and cons and he was pretty strong uh, that yes you can do just about anything but in this particular building that would not necessarily it won't be his recommendation uh, and it's not that he's opposed to steel and there, there's uh, benefits to that we already have a slope on this actually I guess which is I suppose pretty normal uh, what we call flat roofs um, but the biggest concern there was uh, workmanship of people uh, installing is a major concern was retro and retrofitting it. Uh, could it be done? It could be done. Uh, um, but he said the other thing is, is if you develop a leak with a steel roof, especially retrofitting, um, you have a major issue to try to deal with in comparison to this type of roof. So did I miss anything? No, that's, that's about right. It would have been a, one of the key things that he started out with was the insulation and he said, um, his comment was, I think it was before he got in there, he said that uh, you have about $100,000 of insulation on that roof right now that you want to salvage. And about the only way you can salvage it is to replace the roof that, that's basically that's there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you start trying to do fastening of any other kind of roof, sometimes that insulation has to go away and you have to do something different. So that was one of his main recommendations. Plus, he said that um, most of the installers in the area, or that anybody's going to bid this, have dealt with this kind of roof day in, day out, all the time. So you know, they're not reinventing the wheel. Uh, it's not going to be a, it should be a big deal in the application process of it. So that's what he recommended, and it seems pretty knowledgeable. He's been in it since 1984, I guess. So he knows of companies that we can actually send the specs out to. Yes. Well, there'll be a pre bid. It'll, it has to, we have to go through a legal process of putting it in the paper over a period of time, which will go handle on and then there'll be a uh, pre bid meeting that he runs with anybody that wants to bid the project so that it's, yeah, it's being done right. Mm -hmm. That's what the services that we purchased and we're going to use. So. Okay, I'm here. Go ahead. Yep, me too. Wait, okay. thanks.